What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Right now I'm about to go check out To Whom It May Concern by Yellow Wolves. So you already know man, we're just gonna jump into this. No more time wasting because I waste too much time in my intro. You guys already know, I like this guy. I like how he raps, love his cadence. I believe that he is also a cadence master. His flows are ridiculous and I love his style too. I love how he dresses, to be honest. Like, I like his style. His style is dope. I like that about him. But this junk is eight minutes long. So we're going to be here for a while. So be ready. Because I heard this one is about. They were saying that he's racist. And he basically wrote y'all a letter. So let's do this, man. Let's jump into this. See you guys on the other side. Let's do this. Get the head from John. To whom it may concern. Yellow Wolf. Let's do it. He always bring those really unorthodox beats too. It's one of the things I like about his music. Like he's never like his beats are always except for Bloody Bloody Sunday was pretty like if you wanna call it normal. Like Ooh, I like this. Is that a sample in the background? So I had a phone call with a good friend of mine the other night. And um, it seems that I've created some confusion. He told me straight up, people don't know you like I do. I guess I haven't said enough, or maybe I've said too much, I don't know, but I don't want to leave any stone unturned, or no questions about who I am, or what I represent, so here you go. I grew up in the deep gutter, raised by wolves, church steeples in a single white mother, taught to be blind to any color by hippies who've been smoking weed since the 60s with dudes that hassle for bed covers, rock and roll, country music and cocaine, one hand on the bible and the Ouija board in the other, the irony of it all is so thick that a flower gets stuck in the thin air, that dope smoke, let us get it in Michael Jackson, practicing moonwalking with a broomstick in the kitchen, popping and locking, no E.T. on television, we didn't have it, we had the rabbits, the tin foil, mason jar on the counter full of bacon oil. Now looking back and talking about freedom, yeah, you were spoiled. Oblivious to the hideous crimes from the insidious minds that took place right by Lois on the southern soil. The blood and the pain left a recoil. The creek waters holding secrets. Ghosts of Confederate veterans in the wind. Backwoods are haunted with the death and the sin. Slave ships carried the lost souls. Wicked white men slaughtering angels for a fucking barcode. We bear these wicked ways. The world is still turning. And these motherfuckers with their crosses is still burning. Yeah, I seen them at the courthouse. Not really sure what they're trying to prove still. They jumped up the mountains, they still trying to move hills. And the daughters probably listen to True Hill. Pussy hotter than blue steel. Oh, we got to pull that back a bit. Because he's pitting some bars in there. Like. The creek waters holding secrets. Ghost of Confederate veterans in the wind. Backwoods are haunted with the death and the sin. Slave ships carried the lost souls. Wicked white men slaughtering angels for a fucking barcode. Ah! I had to pull that Batman because I, I thought I heard him spit. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, that's a bar right there, man. That's real. That is real. The creek waters holding secrets. Ghost of Confederate veterans in the wind. Backwoods are haunted with the death and the sin. Slave ships carried the lost souls. Wicked white men slaughtering angels for a fucking barcode. Ooh. That line is hitting me hard, man. Look at white men slaughtering angels for a barcode. Slave ships carrying dark souls. Come on, man. That's, that's a hard bar right there. Let's get it, Yellow Wolf. Let's do it. We bear these wicked ways. The world is still turning. And these motherfuckers with their crosses is still burning. Mm. Yeah, I see. Uh, like who, uh, let's calm down. <laughs> let's calm down right now. Because he going in. He going in. 
Confederate veterans in the wind. Backwoods are haunted with the death in the sin. Slave ships dripping through our souls. Wicked white men slaughtering angels for a fucking barcode. We bear these wicked ways. The world is still turning. And these motherfuckers with their crosses is still burning. Mm. Yeah, I seen them at the courthouse. Not really sure what they're trying to prove still. Jumped over mountains, they still trying to move hills. In the mm. Jumped up on mountains, still trying to move hills. Come on, man. Bosses is still burning. Yeah, I seen them at the courthouse. Not really sure what they're trying to prove still. Jumped over mountains, they still trying to move hills. And the daughters probably listen to True Hill. Pussy hot in the blue steel. You know what he's saying, right? He's saying that basically, he's saying that you don't know why they still at the courthouse. Why they, what are they trying to prove still? Right? What are they trying to prove still? They're still trying to move hills, basically. They're still trying to move hills, and they probably, li in secret, listening to Drew Hill. I don't know. I hope you guys know who Drew Hill is. If you don't know who Drew Hill is, something is wrong with you. <laughs> something is wrong with you. Because it's, it's very true. There's a lot of people out there that are actually racist. You get what I'm saying? But they listen to black people's music, bro. They do. <laughs> it's so weird. It's such a weird situation where they like they they enjoy what the person do, but they hate them at the same time. It is or it's a pretense. Could be. But that was cold though. That was cold. Yeah. Jumped up the mountains, they still trying to move hills. And the daughters probably listen to Drew Hill. Pussy hotter than blue steel for Drew Hill. Some Jesus come take the weird, no you steer drunk. The youth here punks, the truth here come. I show you how these country folks pop their trunk. Mm. Uh, and my honesty is modest to tell the whole truth. Yeah, I've punted and I've punted to be spit it and call a wigger from who you consider the father at 14 to make you wonder and you wonder. Yeah, that's hard to hear, ain't it? But at that very moment, my picture got painted. Call it God, call it what you will, but I knew the South was sick still and in need of some changes, so I took it upon myself to adopt all the outcasts. I took the American and the Confederate flag, threw it in my back pocket, I even went and got tats and carried them like a shield for the shit that won't tell me back. And these redneck brothers of mine playing that 3 6 in a fucking car. Right, just, just to let you guys know. <laughs> And I know this is probably going to upset some people, probably even on this channel that has been subscribed to me, of me saying something. But I've been saying stuff like this forever because I'm going to always speak my truth. And you can either hate it or love it or, or say I don't care, <laughs> really. Because it's really to the point where I'm saying a lot of this stuff doesn't matter. And it's what I'm trying to say. Some people might take a, a huge deal out of certain things that i just don't really care for i you know what i'm saying like a lot of people's gonna be like yo the flag this and the flag that listen guys <laughs> listen guys i know you guys are probably going to get mad at me for saying this but i'm gonna say it anyways the people is what matter not the flag a lot of people they take pride in this flag that that is used to represent countries I get that. It's a pride thing. You're proud. I get that part of it. And I, as I said, I'm trying to word this in a way to let you understand that. It's not that I'm saying that you are wrong for believing in the flag or whatever the situation is. I'm just not that person. I'm not that person who, when when, um, when people take symbolism to a whole, to a level that it should not be. It's just like how, you know, the the stuff, you know, I'm, the beginning of what happens with Kaepernick, right? The beginning of what happened with him, when he was, the things that he was trying to 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 bring light to, and they take it and they turn it into something else. You get what I'm saying? Like they're saying, oh, you don't respect the flag and all of this other stuff. And I'm like, it's a flag. It has nothing to do with the flag. You get what I'm saying? But that's how a lot of people t took offense to it, that he's disrespecting the flag. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, literally, like you would hear people say, yo, he has no respect for the, for the United States of America flag. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you hear people say that. And you're like, huh? <laughs> this has nothing to do with the flag. I'm saying I cannot sing a, a anthem for a country that does that are killing my people that's all he was trying to say but they took they took it and they turned it into something else you get what i'm saying i believe everybody has the right to protest in the way that they want to protest you can't tell that person how to protest and how to go about it you get what i'm saying like if you decide to protest with violence, you deserve to go to jail because that's the way you chose to protest and that those are the consequences of violently protesting. So if you protest in peace and you get and you get attacked for it, um, there should be consequences for that, too. You get what I'm saying? But if somebody is just peacefully not bothering anybody and then. If you kneel and somebody asks you why you're kneeling and you tell them and then somebody's going to be like, no, that is not what you're protesting. You are disrespecting the flag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So my thing with flags is just is just like, listen, I am proud and I love my country of Jamaica. I love it. Love it. Love the colors of the flag of Jamaica, by the way. Love them. Right. But if you're going to ask me you know about if i have pride in the flag the cloth that flies on us on a staff no <laughs> i have respect for the people and what the country represents you get what i'm saying not the flag itself the flag itself is just a symbol but you can't take that symbol and let it become an idol if you want to say that like to the point of worshiping that symbol and that's where people go to the extreme sometimes that, that i don't understand so let's get back to the music man i just wanted to say that because i know it's it's a really touchy subject and a lot of people they get really touchy when you say stuff like that especially here in america and they think you want to disrespect the troops and all of this other stuff when it really does not have anything to do with that because i respect the hell out of army man and you have no idea you have no idea trust me because i have a military um background no people in the military have family in the military so there's no way i could sit here and be like oh i don't respect military people you get what i'm saying so trust me on it i respect them very much you know i almost ended up going to the military to be honest so let's get back to the music i pull that back a little bit i know I'm, this is going to be a very long reaction this thing is eight minutes long and he's talking about some real stuff right now let's do it some changes, so I took it upon myself to adopt all the outcasts. I took the American and the Confederate flag, threw it in my back pocket. I even went and got tats and carried them like a shield for the shit that won't tell me back. And these redneck brothers of mine playing their three six in a fucking cornfield and beat shorts with lip kits, oblivious to the beauty of juxtaposition. They had no okay, idea. So, basically, the reason why I said what I said just now is because of what he said. He he walks around with the American and the Confederate flag in his back pocket. By all means, sir, do you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying that's not some that's not something that I would do. You get what I'm saying? Like walk around with a Jamaican flag in my black pocket for what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if I just happen to have like a like a, a a kerchief, you know what I'm saying? Like you're talking to somebody that was in military school that you're talking about like for for me, like I understand how symbolism can go to the extreme why i'm saying what i'm saying i'm sorry i'm stopping to say this again but this just came to my mind and i have to say it the things that we did in military school according to the flag right the respect for the flag was out of this world you get what i'm saying till to this day i still don't get it but i did it because i had to <laughs> you get what i'm saying i didn't get it i didn't get it why does this cloth why can't it touch the ground if it touched the ground, you get your 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 on punishment. You get what I'm saying? Like the flag was so precious. This this cloth, this I'm on my like it's just a damn cloth. <laughs> That's me. That's just me. And I know you guys are gonna be like, yo, I'm, I'm you're probably gonna look at me and be like, you're an idiot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't understand symbolism and all this other stuff. To me, it does not make sense why we put so much 
into protecting a piece of cloth on a pole. We had to pull it down gently and raise it to music. <laughs> I never got, like to this day, I'm telling you, guys. I'm telling you, if I was in the military, I'd probably just do it just because it's a rule. You get what I'm saying? Like, do it. But having having pride in in your country and the people that you're trying to 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 um protect and stuff like that that is what i have pride for you get what i'm saying the people you get what i'm saying but as i said i would just do that as a formality not necessarily because i understood what it represents you know <laughs> You know, but that's just me. Maybe I'm just being cynical or whatever. Or maybe I just don't understand. Maybe can, somebody can explain it to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> baby. And I'm I'm laughing to myself because this is a conversation that I've had with plenty of people. And they got really mad at me. So I know you guys are probably going to be mad. <laughs> but anyways, let's get back to the music. How special it was to witness Them in deep Alabama playing Snoop and group home Then Hank and Metallica, I discovered a new zone And Catfish Billy, a way for me to talk about it From then on, I was questioning how they doubted by my peers Who didn't understand that all these years we've been the brunt of the jokes America made it clear that we were backwards, wrong, behind, and segregated So I decided the yellow move would go make it more obvious that we've grown I polished up my tone, I signed a shady and brought a record deal home Look, mama, no hands, I'm coming up, yeah, I'm grown Respect from the old OGs, co-signing my songs. First it was Bun B, then Raekwon and T.I.P. Then all of these MCs wanted features from me. But I was alive, why? My tongue was a fucking blade to these critics who didn't get it. The clips from the grenade in my teeth. Mm. A little too unique. The market for me was smaller than some thought it would be, even me. So I looked in the mirror, saw the Jordans, the gold chain, my shirt, Pantera, rip a flag in my pocket, red tattooed on my neck, part of Dixie across the stomach, and it ain't click yet. Maybe I wore the wrong shoes back to the woods, because these way number fives can't get wet. Maybe it's something <laughs> I need to go figure out on my own. So after radioactive, I took my shit back home, disappeared from the world, became increasingly different. Tuned in every once in a while to see who was spitting, but mainly I was in Nashville, getting back to my roots. Exploring music with love story, I made it my truth. Dropped a single called Tiller. Gone and travel the globe. I started seeing rebel flags everywhere in my shows. I didn't think nothing of it. I assumed that they get it. I'm on some new side shit, but I have to admit it. I saw the post up on Instagram proclaiming I'm racist, and then I'm fucked in the head, and I don't know where my place is. I started taking it personal, cause I treat people equal, homie. I got mixed kids, and music is how I feed them. Lo and behold, as I'm saying this, I discovered this evil white boy went in the church and killed nine innocent people. Goddamn. Hold on, moment of silence. I know it's not. Nine in a sick church going with people get murdered. There's not a word I can utter. There's not a rhyme I can say. There ain't no fixing that ever. Those people brutally slay. And I refuse to see ways to justify the blame. That motherfucker's insane. I got so mad at my own image. I took down merch. No one's planning it now. It's only making it worse. This fucking coward, this criminal's just a puppet, a mental case. But the truth is the truth. He did it because of race. There's nothing I can describe. The shame that I felt inside. The white boy with the flag committed these homicides. I tried so long to defend the side. Then yes, it was my decision. Just a witness to the sickness The killing was in the bridge And the bridge that I laid to the road That I built from the love and the wisdom I'm trying to find my way But now I'm feeling in prison From the stereotype I was prepared for the fight Hell, I'll be stereotyped Into my burial site I married a loaded gun it's When I married this mic that he's saying Russian that Something that he Something that he basically loves Was used For a different purpose You get what I'm saying? And then the stain of it all because the thing about the confederate flag is that from what i understand is that it's not a good representation towards black people and and i've i've always as i said i've explained before i don't put so much weight on the symbolism of a flag like i don't put that kind of weight on it but i do understand how people get so rowdy about stuff like that it's just like how they have these you know, statues of slave owners and stuff like that in parks and black people are trying to get them taken down and all of this other stuff. And I'm like, why do you guys care so much about these things? Uh, and this is what I'm saying. You spend your whole life. You, you're going to spend literally 
your whole life trying to get these things taken down when you could just live and accomplish so much more. But you're going to spend your time trying to do something that you know may not happen. You get what I'm saying? I'm talking about this is not this is not something that, oh, if I work really, really hard at it, you're going to be successful. This is something that um, you, it, it, it's legitimate you it's like um legislature this stuff is put into place is 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 history you know the the channels that you have to go through to get one of those statues taken down is astronomically like the, from from a to b from getting from point a to b and then when you get to b you still gotta go through another astronomical amount of time to get to c you get what i'm trying to say so i believe that stuff like that can be ignored it's not that big a deal and i think we pay too much attention to things that it's just like why should I get mad because a statue is there and the guy was a slave owner? Like, why would I get mad at a statue? Like, why am I getting mad at a statue? Oh, it's it's perpetuating racist. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, because I'm laughing at this stuff because as a people, we waste so much time on frivolous things, on things that I, I believe, in my opinion, don't really matter and it, and that's what i'm saying instead of going out and loving i say this so many times instead of going out and just choose to love we choose to hate and find things to hate that's what that, it, it's like it's like that's what people are about today and that's why i just i just choose to be different i just choose to to go out there and just show people love. I could give a damn about a slave on a slave owner statue. And who that person was. Who the hell cares about oh we George Washington, he was he was a slave owner and and, and all this other stuff. I could care less. I am here in the now and my purpose in life is is to go out there and love, man. Love concentrate on that more and trust me you'll get a lot more accomplished people will understand you more people will get what you're saying more and all of this other stuff so i do understand where yellow wolf is coming from when he's talking about um it, it's there's nothing there there's nothing worse than finding out that something that you love and Something that you use to represent you yourself for somebody to take that and use it for evil. <laughs> Imagine how God feels. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm saying. You you don't understand like certain things. Like, that's how I look at it. And I'm like, but that's the reason why we should go out there and love. You get what I'm saying? Just love on each other, man. I'm not saying go out there. You know what I'm saying? And not be aware because you can be aware and still show love. You know, people think that that's how you show love to the black community by taking up the struggle. I'm sorry, guys. I don't need the struggle. I have enough stress. <laughs> I have enough stress. I have enough. And people feel like, oh, if you're not down for the cause, then you're not one of us and blah, blah, blah. You're a coon. You're a this and all of this other stuff. You're left. You're right. You're in the middle somewhere. I just want to live, man. I just want to live and love. That's all I want to do, man. That's all I want to do. I know I'm probably coming off of the hippie right now. <laughs> I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Let's get back to the music. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I was prepared.
prepared for the fight. Hell, I'll be stereotyped into my burial site. Mm. I married a loaded gun when I married this mic. Ain't playing Russian roulette, ain't playing around with my life. Cause what I cannot lose is the respect that I've gained. Friendships I cherish, fuck the money and fame. Black American culture is in the thread of my veins. It's rock and roll till I die. I'm just a rebel and shame. Uh. Yes, I apologize for me and anybody with that flag. Honestly, any proud southerner is sad. How do you think I feel when I look at my granddad? Imagining him dead because of that piece of trash. I got nephews, nieces who need this. Peace between this, but media is fiendish. So if you feel like you're above it or beneath it, have a logical mind about who your team is. And when you look at me, dog, don't look at me like another branch of a tree, dog. I took the shit and balanced it the best that I could. Try to hold up the wood of America's old seesaw. But this ain't hee haw with me, ma. We ain't on the Cosby show, are we, bro? Daddy may give a good night kiss, but I can promise you this that you ain't promised tomorrow. I wish I could go back to the innocence. I remember my friends with no differences. But pigment is relative, is it is? Maybe by 2050 we'll be over it. Big crit, I love you, homie. Keep killing shit. You inspired us first. I got your back and it's limitless. It is what it is. We cannot fix all this ignorance. The American flags up, it's over. I'm in this. <laughs> Jamming out right now. <laughs> okay. pretty dope man as i mean i like yellow wolf's music i like his music and i'm you know it's so sad sometimes that you can't do stuff without people accusing you of doing something especially today where you know what i'm saying with this cancel culture and all of this other stuff is like you gotta be walk you gotta be um walking on pins and needles you know what i'm saying to make sure that you're doing the right thing at all times you know what I'm saying? It's like people are not free to make mistakes anymore, especially when you're in the public eye. So there's so many things going on that I don't agree with, that I don't like that's going on because these things only lead to bigger problems. And they think they're solving something and they're really not. You know what I'm saying? Because instead of they thinking that things are getting better, it's actually getting worse. You know what I'm saying? If I should give you guys a, a quick example, you know, of things that I think that should be approached in a different way, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I think I've talked about this before, but, you know, just a quick example. Um, I've talked about the, the Me Too movement before where it started out, started out and I, I was in full support of it because there was all these undercover stuff that was going on in, you know, I'm saying Hollywood and stuff like that, that I did not know that this stuff was going on. You know, I'm basically trading, trading sex for parts and movies and stuff like that. Um, you know, the gist of it. And these women weren't saying anything. And, you know, after a while I started, I started to say, but nobody's really, these women, I feel sorry for them. You know, not necessarily, it, it's not pity. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, um, empathy towards them because, you know, imagine all these years they couldn't come out and say, you know what I'm saying? Because they felt like, you know, there was this, you, you know, imaginary loaded gun to their head that they couldn't speak out about it else their career will be, you know, they will be blackballed out of Hollywood and stuff like that. So I was happy about it. But now that Me Too movement has turned into something different. You get what I'm saying? It has turned into an attack on men. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not for it anymore because it's what it was about has been scarred. It is a miscard. It's blemished now. You get what I'm saying? It's blemished now. It's not, it's not just, it, it ain't even about that anymore. You get what I'm saying? It's basically 
uh, it's basically the Me Too movement is now an empire designed to destroy men. I, I hope you guys are realizing that. That's basically what it is now. And that's what I'm saying. Like, things can start out good and then it becomes something else. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I'm saying. Like, it goes in line with you having something that you love and you want to see do better and do better. And then some people now you, get, you, 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 you have women that are accusing men that ain't do nothing to them. And cops are just scooping them up. And then they find out, oh, they were lying. You know what I'm saying? Women are hitting themselves, <laughs> slamming themselves against against elevator doors, and then calling the cops and saying, hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is that the kind of stuff that's that's being brought to light today? You know? Men are afraid of mentoring women now because of all of this that is going on. It's, as I said, something starts out good. We love it. We're cheering. And then somebody uses it for evil. And then, poof. You know, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. So um, so that was pretty cool, man. To, aim, to whom it may concern. As I said, man, it's sad that these artists, they, they have to go through this where they have to be explaining themselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like explaining themselves and they did nothing wrong. You're accusing somebody because they carry a flag in their black pocket. It's like you're racist because you are carrying that flag. <laughs> you know, it's so dumb. <laughs> but anyways, man, I'm move on to the next thing, man. Hope you guys enjoy the reaction. Don't take too much to heart, man. Really, it's my belief. It's just my belief. It's my opinion. You have yours. And you're free to put it in the comment section. Hate it or love it. I'll see you guys for the next one. Comment, like, subscribe if you're new. I'm out. See you guys for the next one.